Want to become the Kool-Aid Man and smash through walls recklessly? Well then, do I have the character for you. Sit back and relax, because I am an Ian, and this is my Streets of Row character guide to the Jock. The jock is unlocked via causing a destruction level of 75 on a single floor. So, you know, smash and bash everything you can see on the first floor of the slums before using the elevator to leave the floor. Assuming you haven't already unlocked this character already. As for his description, it reads, When not administering wedgies, swirlies, and Indian sunburns to nerds, the jock enjoys running into walls at high speeds. When scientists contended that this behavior destroys brain cells, the jock passionately argued that it actually restores brain cells, ironically giving more validity to the scientists' claims. The scientists backed down after receiving the most severe purple nurples of their lives. Now let's get into the meat and potatoes of this character, shall we? With endurance and melee maxed out at 4 and speed not far behind at 3, you are best equipped for getting up close and personal with your baseball bat and muscly pillar, both of which can be found both in your starting inventory as well as your local loadout omatic. Your firearm stat, however, leaves much to be desired at a rock bottom of 1, which is quite bad for you considering that sometimes the only way to effectively deal with the angry mob is to run away while shooting at their general direction. And you will have angry mobs on your trail when you play this character, due partly to your loud trait effectively ruining most attempts at stealth, but this is mostly due to your special ability. It is called CHARGE! Once activated, your character will psych themselves up for a brief moment before charging forward through anything and everything that can be destroyed via explosives with the exception of the world border wall, or one of those caves in the park. This trait might sound like a fun ability to unleash utter carnage on the various levels, but be careful, whilst charging you gain no immunities or even a resistance to any kind of damage, meaning if you get hit by a bullet you'll take the same damage as if you were just walking around normally. Also, once you engage the charge, you have no way to stop or even steer whatsoever, which means if you aren't careful, you can end up crashing straight into an oven or other hazards on the floor and get yourself killed very easily. If you're not careful with how you position yourself once activating this ability, you can easily end up charging through several more buildings than intended and pissing off everyone inside all of those buildings, resulting in angry mobs being 8 to 20 times larger than intended. Because of this, I advise scouting out the floor and charting your charges carefully, unless they are being done as a last-ditch escape tool. If used responsibly, you can actually bust prisoners free via surgically cutting corners without needing to deal with the cops whatsoever. Just bear in mind, once you hit something that ends your charge, like the world wall, your character will fall to the ground like they slipped on a banana peel, the only real difference being that you don't take damage from this like a banana would. Oh, and if you destroy a computer while charging, don't worry, you're computer illiterate so it's not like you could use it anything anyway. If something is locked behind a terminal, just smash it. On the subject of negative traits, you also have the sucker trait. This means that shopkeepers will charge you more for their items, most likely as a preemptive way to pay off the damages that you will most likely cause. After all, your only positive trait, the Master of Disaster, grants you XP based on the amount of property damage you inflict on the world around you. And you have to commit large amounts of property damage if you intend to complete your big quest. Speaking of which... <laughs> Your big quest is called Harmless Pranks, wherein you must destroy all of a specified instance of a specific prop type, which will be labeled in the map menu. In terms of difficulty, this quest can be bipolar on a floor-to-floor -floor basis. This is because sometimes you might end up only having to smash three lamps near the entrance, while other times you'll have to smash every single bed in an uptown level, with half of them having someone sleeping in them at the time. Despite this inconsistency, I do have a few tips to make this quest go down a bit smoother for yins. Personally, don't think you need to use your special ability every time. In fact, I discourage it wholeheartedly, since using it can result in more NPCs picking a fight with you than necessary, and you want to conserve your healing items for later sections of the game like Uptown. After all, the quest only cares if you destroyed the object in question, not how you destroyed the object in question. Secondly, fire is underrated. If the object in question you need to destroy is next to a wooden wall of any kind, you can simply shoot at the wall with a single puff of a flamethrower or with a regular pistol if you grab the burning bullets trait and simply wait for the burning and everything adjacent to its walls to be destroyed. Unless, of course, the firefighters come and ruin your fun. Lastly, check to see what kind of prop you need to 
destroy at the start of every floor. After all, the last thing you want to have happen to you is to flawlessly sneak through a mission only to find out you had to smash the beds in every single one of those buildings you are just in, especially if you used up the last of your body swappers to get out of those buildings before the security could find out it was you. All in all, I give the jock a Leroy Jenkins out of 10. Whether you wish to charge in with reckless abandon YOLOing it, or if you wish to perfectly plan out your charges to complete as many missions as possible in a single charge, the jock will serve you well. That's all for now, like the video if you did, subscribe if you don't want to miss the next one, I've been an Ian, and this has been my Streets of Rogue character guide to the jock. And stay tuned, the investment banker is coming up next.